evening, a week after the horror of the Boston Marathon bombing, runners and non-runners alike are reaching out to the victims in an overwhelming show of support. In fact, here in Cincinnati, not only are runners about to run in several fundraising events, but we're told that registrations for the Flying Pig Marathon are up. Nine on your side reporter Jay Warren is live downtown with that encouraging news. Jay? That's right, they are, Carol. Members of the Flying Pig Board are meeting upstairs at the Moorline Logger House as we speak. Earlier this afternoon, they held a press conference to go over those numbers as well as to talk about new security protocols. And one of those security protocols will be credentials at the start and the finish. You don't have a credential, you can't get into that location. In the meantime, we go over to Newport for a story on runners getting ready with Boston in their hearts. At Bob Ronker's running spot in Newport, the questions have come in all day, and they've all been the same. I will not get there probably until about 6 o'clock. Matthew Frondorf says the question is, do you have those T-shirts? We have runners for Boston. It uh, has a heart on it. Uh, it's a gray shirt. Uh, that way, uh, if you'd like to make a donation, it's $20, and it all goes to the one fund. I mean, you have to do something, and obviously we're not in Boston. And yeah. I don't have any medical training, so yeah. <laughs> you can help. <laughs> That's what I can do is buy a shirt. Across the river in Cincinnati, Ira Simpson Bush, the executive director of the Flying Pig, outlined security changes in the wake of the bombings. Our start and finish areas will be more secure than in the past. Credentials will be issued. You must be a credentialed individual to be in those areas. She says even with the bombings of last week, the numbers for the Flying Pig continue to move higher. They have increased. We are up yet again. Every year has been an increase. In fact, we will be making an announcement about additional registration opportunities. We've had additional interest. Frondorf says he sees it too and believes there is an increase in enthusiasm, not just for the flying pig, but for running in general. I'm getting the sense that uh, a lot of people uh, want to run and they want to run for uh, Boston and for the victims. Uh, a lot of people are excited. They're coming into the stores uh, really amped up. They, they want Boston apparel. They want something that says Boston on it. They want people to know that they are running uh, for the city of Boston. And I know, Carol and Tanya, you're interested in seeing those T-shirts. Well, guess what? When we were there, they hadn't been printed yet. They're being delivered in about a half an hour. And you can expect to see those on 9 on your side and WCPO.com. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, the banks. I think I want to get one of those. Thanks, Jay.